Assistant Plus lets you supercharge Siri with activator listeners and custom replies. What is up, guys? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. Once you install Assistant Plus, you can add a listener just by going to the activator listener section and tapping this little plus button in the upper right hand corner. What this will allow you to do is basically set up something that Siri will listen to or listen for, and it will execute an activator action based on this, this particular text that you type in here. So you're going to give it a name, first of all. This name really has no bearing on anything but to uh, provide you with information. The trigger is what you what Siri will actually listen for and you can combine the trigger uh, with the wild card so that it's easier for Siri to recognize what you're saying so for instance I could say uh, hey Siri uh, and then the trigger or I could say yo Siri and then the trigger or anything before the trigger and uh, Siri would still recognize that as being a valid trigger uh, so that's the reason why we use this little wild card here so that's what I'm doing right now all right, once we have the wild card in, we just need to put in the actual trigger name. My trigger is going to be sleepy time, obviously. Um, so I'm putting in sleepy time. So there we go. I have the trigger with the wild card in front of it. So there we go, sleepy time. So whenever I say sleepy time to Siri, it should trigger whatever activator action I assign to this. Now the pass through option allows Siri to listen for another listener or a custom reply or a plugin even. Uh, and I'll show you why that's useful right now. So we're going to go back and you see my listener there. We're going to go to custom replies. I want Siri to actually uh, respond to something. The custom replies is actually a plugin uh, that comes built in with the system plus, but I want Siri to respond once I say sleepy time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the activator listener and I'm going to copy this trigger here because we're going to use the same trigger. And that's why the pass through option is uh, useful because this allows you to not only use the initial uh, listener, but allows you to listen for that trigger allow Siri to listen for that trigger uh, for a custom reply, uh, etc. So I'm going to put in something here. My response. Good night, Jeff. And sleep tight. So you can see the workflow here. It's going to listen for the listener, obviously execute the activator action. And then um, once it does that, it's going to go and execute the custom reply. So we just need to go into activators preferences and you see already at the top sleepy time. There is our listener. So anytime Siri here, sleepy time, it's going to execute whatever we assign here in activator. Uh, so it's sleepy time, it's nighttime. Obviously I don't want a lot of sounds going off. So I'm going to turn media volume all the way to zero. Um, let's see what else should we put in here? How about we, how about we just lock our device? How about that? So let's go up here to lock device and assign multiple and, uh, screen brightness. Yeah. Let's turn that down. Assign multiple. And what about do not disturb? I don't want to be disturbed at night. All right, assign multiple. So there we go. We've built our, our series of actions. So whenever I say Siri or anything before that and say sleepy time to Siri, it should recognize it. So let's try it out. Enable sleepy time. Good night, Jeff. Sleep tight. So you can see it worked just as we hoped it would. It even said the uh, custom reply because we use the pass through option as I showed you earlier. So Assistant Plus is extremely powerful. It's $1.99 on the Big Boss repo. Folks, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.